아, 우리 옛날 거? 어. 그거 뭐지? 사진 받았거든요? 박수희도 카메라 가져왔어요? 나카스 거. 코코 찍으라고. 어. 저도 가져왔는데. 이게 뭐 거예요? 이게 더. 
Thank you to our community members, all our organizations, for being here with, the, with us today in this exciting moment. My name is Hanju Lee. I'm the National Organizing Coordinator of the National Korean American Service and Education Consortium, or NACSEC. We are here to celebrate the reintroduction of DREAM Act, a bill that would provide undocumented students a chance to pursue higher education and obtain legal status. The bill was introduced yesterday in the Senate and House by a diverse group of Democrats and Republicans who joined together to support a bipartisan bill. We want to specifically thank uh, Senators Richard Durbin and Richard Lugar in the Senate and Representatives Howard Berman, Lucille Roy Ballard, and Diaz Ballard for the leadership and commitment. We are within the first 100 days of the Obama administration and the introduction of DREAM Act is an important indicator of the priority DREAM Act has within Congress and hopefully with our new president. We are optimistic of its passage because DREAM Act, while it has been introduced before, has never had the political prospects of today. DREAM Act is a product of tenacious organizing and advocacy of young immigrant students and their peers. It is our bill, crafted by the input from our communities, distinguishing it from any other immigration bill. And the community and student organizations present here today have led this effort locally here in Southern California as well as nationally. So I would like to take this moment to warmly acknowledge and thank all these immigrant rights and student organizations who have worked tirelessly over the years to advocate for immigrant rights and equal opportunity for all. They are the Coalition for Humane Immigrant Rights of Los Angeles, CHILA, Improving Dreams, Equality, Access, and Success Ideas at UCLA, the Korean Resource Center, National Korean American Service and Education Consortium, and of course the Orange County Dream Team. We stand united to applaud the reintroduction of DREAM Act and pledge our commitment to continue our work to educate, mobilize, and empower our communities so that we live in a society where all human be beings are given the same and equal rights and opportunities to build a better, a better future for themselves and their families. So now it is my pleasure to introduce to you uh, four speakers. Uh, the first would be Pedro, who is a student from CSUN. Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you. Again, my name is Pedro Trujillo. I'm a student at Cal State Northridge, uh, CSUN, and I'm representing uh, Dreams to be Heard, the undocumented immigrant support group at CSUN, and also representing the California Dream Network who is a statewide coalition of different universities, UCs, CSUs, uh, fighting for what well, originally the DREAM Act, but also immigration rights. I just wanted to share a few things with you. Um, I've been in the struggle for the DREAM Act and immigration reform for a couple of years now, ever since I got out of high school. I uh, became more aware. And right now, 07, or well, at least for 07, I felt very, very devastated when the DREAM Act in 2007 was defeated. And that was just because I had my you know, high hopes and dreams of seeing something like this affecting so many students and being able to legalize their status. But now that 09 comes, new year, new president, it's a whole different story now. We're very excited, at least for the DREAM Network, I would say. And we're ready to take on this new bill. So I'd like to thank the senators, uh, especially Senator Durbin, who's been you know, fighting for the DREAM Act and, being, and all those uh, supporters of the DREAM Act, and also ask the people of Los Angeles and all over the nation to please call your senators, your congresspersons, uh, to please tell them to support the DREAM Act, to co-sponsor that it's something that you believe in, and it's something that affects uh, a couple of million students. So, also, I also wanted to say that no less uh, important is that this year, 09, we need the DREAM Act to pass, and we also need uh, just and humane immigration reform to pass. So this, ha this has to be the year. We have to stay together and continue the struggle. Thank you. Next, we have Joseph, who is a student organizer for the Korean Resource Center. Joseph Jung. Um, first, I want to thank all of you. Uh, many of you have been doing this work for years. 
And here we are today again, hoping to make change and give dreams back to million students. This country is a mixture of many different ethnicities. Uh, we have different skin colors. We speak different tongues. Yet, we are all Americans, that we have American dreams. And we know that if we work hard enough, we can achieve them. But there are exceptions to this, to this story. Actually, there are millions of students who cannot achieve their goal because of their status. Sometimes they have to give up their dreams entirely. Just in Korean, Korean community alone, one in five um, are undocumented, and uh, many of them are students. They, they received great education in this country. They met great mentors. They learned the responsibilities of citizen, citizenship, and they found the dreams in life. But they, they also want to contribute back to the society. They want to be a mentor. They want to be a teacher. They want to, be, uh, they want to make difference in, this, in the country they love, and they call it home. Um, but because of their status, they're, they're, they're facing brick walls. Sometimes they're giving up their dreams entirely. But then the Dream, Dream Act is reintroduced yesterday, and if passed, millions of these students will head off to colleges or military to fulfill their dreams. They will be a part of this community, and together we can make change. Thank you. Yeah, this is much better. All right, the last speaker we have is Vanessa Castillo, and she's Education Chair of the OC Orange County Dream Team. Woo! Go, Vanessa! Hi. Are you okay with this? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, no, everyone. Um, I'm here representing the Orange County Dream Team. Uh, we are based out of Santa Ana, and what we do is we, we dream, we educate, and we advocate for the passing of the DREAM Act. I am a U.S. citizen who supports and advocates for the DREAM Act as well, and we applaud the introduction of the DREAM Act. We are ready to work. We know that there's going to be a lot of work to do, and we are ready, and we are willing. So thank you very much, and um, let's get to work. Thank you, Vanessa, and thank you to all the media that came out and all our friends. It's great to see our ally organizations. Vanessa's last words is critical. We know more than anyone else that the work is just beginning. We must, with this great hope that we had yesterday, make dream a reality. So we look forward to continuing the movement and recruiting new members. So please get involved and contact the organizations that are here today. Uh, and if you would like interviews with organization representatives and student organizers, please feel free to do so. Thank you very much. What do we want? Dream Act! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Dream Act! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Dream Act! When do we want it? Now! Our dreams can't wait! 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 What do we want? What do we want it? What do we want? When do we want it? What do we want? When do we want it? Si se puede, yes we can. Si se puede, yes we can. Si se puede, yes we can. Yes we can. Odd moments.
I feel like uh, on your behalf of the trash that are user centered, as well as mobilize them, ask them to keep it back to the ocean, finding a little charge to send to our conference members to come organize workshops at their schools, to talk to their parents, uh, to alert media, and to let them see the because we really want to keep the future direct to the This is an example where drug democracy works so beautifully if we get our communities in you guys bring right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was organized in six days. Like, we didn't plan it. Like, we never really know what it's going to be. So, the Pernimid community in the U.S., uh, one out of five are adopted. A significant portion of that number are youth. So, 18 years old or younger, which means that they might have a direct or impact in that community. So, for